The man had taste. That's all the proof I need. Then please explain to me why he owned Lady Hawk on both VHS and Laserdisc. A list of all the films in Halliday's collection at the time of his death was included in the appendices of Anorak's Almanac. We both had the list memorized. The guy was a billionaire. He owned millions of movies, most of which he probably never even watched. He had DVDs of Howard the Duck and Kroll, too. That doesn't mean he liked them asshat. It sure as hell doesn't make them canon. It's not really up for a debate, Homer, I said. Lady Hawk is an 80s classic. It's fucking lame is what it is. The swords look like they were made out of tin foil, and that soundtrack is epically lame. Full of synthesizers and shit. By the motherfucking Alan Parsons Project, a lame arama Beyond lame. Highlander too lame. Hey, I feigned hurling my Intellivision controller at him. Now you're just being insulting. Lady Hawk's cast alone makes the film canon. Roy Batty, Ferris Bueller, and the dude who played Professor Falcon in War Games. I searched my memory for the actor's name. John Wood, reunited with Matthew Broderick. A real low point in both of their careers, he said, laughing. He loved arguing about old movies, even more than I did. The other gunters in the chat room were now starting to form a small crowd around us to listen in. Our arguments were often high in entertainment value. You must be stoned, I shouted. Lady Hawk was directed by Richard fucking Donner. The Goonies? Superman the movie? You're saying that guy sucks? I don't care if Spielberg directed it. It's a chick flick disguised as a sword and sorcery picture. The only genre film with less balls is probably... freaking legend. Anyone who actually enjoys Lady Hawk is a bona fide USD choice pussy. Laughter from the peanut gallery. I was actually getting a little pissed off now. I was a big fan of Legend 2 and H knew it. Oh, so I'm a pussy. You're the one with the Ewok fetish. I snatched the star log out of his hands and threw it against a Revenge of the Jedi poster on the wall. I suppose you think your extensive knowledge of Ewok culture is going to help you find the egg. But don't start in the Endorians again, man, he said, holding up an index finger. I've warned you, I will ban your ass, I swear. I knew this was a hollow threat, so I was about to push the Ewok thing even further. Maybe give him some crap for referring to them as Endorians. But just then, a new arrival materialized on the staircase, a total lamer by the name of Irock. I let out a groan. Irock and H attended the same school and had a few classes together, but I still couldn't figure out why H had granted him access to the basement. Irock fancied himself an elite gunter, but he was nothing but an obnoxious poser. Sure, he did a lot of teleporting around the Oasis, completing quests and leveling up his avatar, but he didn't actually know anything. He was always brandishing an oversized plasma rifle the size of a snowmobile. Even in chat rooms where it was totally pointless, the guy had no sense of decorum. Are you cocks arguing about Star Wars again? He said, descending the steps and walking over to join the crowd around us. That shit is so played out. Yo. An excerpt from Ready Player One, a novel. Yes, a, a published novel. How about that? Ready Player One by Ernest Cline.